Hello, this is Bridget Rao with Divine Essentials. So I just finished doing um, Isis and Osiris activation tonight. Um, we had Isis and Osiris for the goddess blessing energies of the um, 13 events that I'm doing. And there was a lot of um, longer messages that are in these decks that I have. I have the Isis Oracle here. So we did a couple of incantations, and a couple of them I am going to be sending out, like, directions for people to participate on those on their own. If people purchase the video on Vimeo, the directions will be in the description of that video. But there was one at the end, the last card that I read, that I'm going to read again now, and then do that one with you here, which is basically a meditation, but it's a short one. You can sit, relax, with your eyes closed, um, but it was getting late, and we were on there already for a little while, so I said I'll record this one separately. So the card was Truths Unveiled, and it says, and it is the Revelation of Isis. There are times when appearances of people, places, and things are deceptive. You will sense this when something feels uncomfortable within you, when you notice feelings of anxiety or doubt within you. You may think there is something wrong with you, but actually you are intuitively sensing that all is not as it appears to be. It is wise to trust your inner feeling rather than being convinced by outward appearance. There is a situation in your life, especially involving relationships, where something is not as it is being made out to be. To avoid undue suffering later on, Isis guides you to truth and revelation now. The revelation of Isis is needed when something or someone is not as it outwardly appears to be. No matter how sacred it may seem, a spiritual person, a family relationship, a shared history. There are times when although it is more painful to admit the truth in the short term, in the long term it will save you much suffering and feelings of being duped, misled, manipulated, used, or abused. It will also make it more likely that the situation or relationship can grow into a healthier expression if possible. You cannot heal what is not revealed. Isis is with you now. To help you to realize the truths, to admit that you have probably already sensed it anyway, and to make wise use of these revelations now. The Oracle of Truths unveiled speaks of a time soon to come when you will realize true perception. When you thought when what you thought was trustworthy, legitimate, or reliable may turn out and in turn into sand crumbling before your eyes. This could be a friendship, a job, an offer of some kind, or even the behavior of a loved one, causing you to question the real commitment or respect in a family or romantic relationship. What is important here is to realize that when you see the truth, you can act appropriately. You will not proceed with inappropriate expectations and you can reassess your boundaries and priorities to get the most out of a situation and not suffer undue disappointment later on. Isis was betrayed by her brother Set, who out of great jealousy murdered her beloved Osiris. And now Isis was able to demonstrate great spiritual strength and healing power to resurrect her beloved Osiris, and all was not lost. She also learned a painful and valuable lesson that it is wise to take our intuitive feelings seriously and to recognize a snake in the grass when there is one. When pregnant with her divine child Horus, she ran and hid from Set, recognizing that he was destructive and dangerous, honoring what she knew and not pretending that it would all just be fine. And in doing so, her child was able to be born. In the same way, there are creative impulses and new life within you that need to be protected until they are strong enough to withstand negativity or undermining by another out of jealousy or fear. Even a close friend when you, whom you love 
and who loves you may struggle with your creative side, perhaps because they are yet to tap into their own creativity. It is best to be honest with yourself and know that sometimes out of a sense of kindness, the fragile creative beginnings of a project or new habit or interest need to be protected. Like Isis, you must protect that which needs needs it by recognizing where something or someone could harm rather than nourish new life. You are being guided with this oracle to trust your judgment about someone's motivation or intentions. If you feel something is not quite right, then give your discernment a chance to be more fully form so that you can see the truth. The more emotionally detached you allow yourself to be, the clearer your assessment of a person's situation or offer is likely to be. If you have been thinking that you already see the truth in a situation, this oracle is confirmation of the accuracy of that perception and that further confirmation that you are seeing something accurately will soon be given. If requested ask for revelation and be patient clear perception is imminent and will help you make wise choices in the ritual for the revelation of Isis you will sit comfortably in a quiet space where you will not be disturbed close your eyes and say aloud three times I call upon Isis who loves me unconditionally I call upon you three times before beloved guide and priestess. I call upon Isis who loves me unconditionally. I call upon you three times beloved guide and priestess. I call upon Isis who loves me unconditionally. I call upon you three times beloved guide and priestess. As you focus on your breath and allow your awareness to turn within, become aware of a set of sheer curtains wafting lightly in your heart space. Behind these curtains is the truth about any person, place, situation or relationship or an opportunity that you wish to perceive. Say aloud, Isis, who loves me unconditionally, please show me the truth without fear so that I may have clear perception and wise action on this matter now. Stay in your heart and watch for the curtains. If you are ready, willing, and able to see beyond them, they will open for you, and you will be able to see the truth presented. The truth may appear as a literal or symbolic vision. Stay in your heart so that you can best understand the vision given to you. It may make sense immediately and instinctively in your gut, or you may need time to sit with what you have seen or sensed which is also just fine. You may also simply have a clear knowing or feeling or emotion in your heart without a vision, and that is helpful too. When you are ready, you come and open your eyes. And if you do not have a clear answer, be patient and attempt the ritual at another time, remembering that sometimes the truth will come unexpectedly when we are not really looking for them at all. They will just drop into our awareness and we shall know. During this ritual, even without immediate revelation, it is a prayer to Isis in and of itself, telling her that you are ready for her assistance. Your answers will come. And the incantation for the revelation of Isis this incantation can be repeated several times, gaining speed as you get used to the words, feel the energy in the words, 
as you speak aloud. You are requesting revelation, but for it to happen truthfully, and with the least distortion, you also need to accept the timing of how the revelation comes to you. It may be at the time of chanting, or it may be at another time entirely. Your prayer will be answered, trust. And you can add this incantation to the end of the ritual above, or use it as a tool on its own. Give me with your vision now, and the distortion or the vow that blocks the eye within my brow. I receive the knowing clear, without doubt, shame or fear. Lies and deception disappear. Revelation of Isis, come to me swift. Thank you for the sight, the truth, the gift. Confusion into clarity, I now do shift. Give me with your vision now and the distortion or the vow that blocks the eye within my brow. I receive the knowing clear, without doubt, shame or fear. Lies and deceptions disappear. Revelation of Isis come to me swift. Thank you for the sight, the truth, the gift. Confusion into clarity, I now do shift. Give me with your vision now, and the distortion or the vow that blocks the eye within my brow. I receive the knowing clear, without doubt, shame or fear. Lies and deceptions disappear. Revelation of Isis come to me swift. Thank you for the sight, the truth, the gift. Confusion into clarity, I now do shift. And that is that. <laughs> and I laughed when I read it the first time in the call that we had going for the thing tonight. We had a lot of um, stuff coming through in, in terms of balancing um, and healing our shadows. So, um, and like messages about you know betrayal or somebody being like a backstabber or you know somebody that's hurtful because Isis and Osiris, you know they were they were all happy and then set chaos came in and killed Osiris and then she traveled around and put them all back together. She couldn't find his peepee, -pee. <laughs> so she put a golden one on him, brought him back to life, had. Uh, enough time to get pregnant and then he went to the underworld to be the king of the underworld and um, she she lived on but there was a lot of things like that coming through uh, tonight you know in, in all of the cards and only a couple of the decks really even talk about that but um, I had a I had a couple of different decks that I was using there's one here that you know the incantations and things like that are Basically, you got to have some stuff to do. There was one with like planting seeds, um, and then there was one with sand, which wouldn't be hard. But the one for Set, which is Chaos, which is her brother. It was like if Chaos has come into your life, you know, grab a handful of sand and, and say this and do this and all of that. So that one's not that hard to do. Um, most of them aren't hard to do. It's just a matter of like having the actual item right there at that moment. Um, but this was the deck that we used for the gods and titans for the masculine vibration, the goddesses and sirens for the feminine vibration. This is the Isis Oracle, which is the one I'm reading out of now. We also had the Scales of Balance, which was like, it's time to balance divine feminine and masculine energies in your life. And that was what it was all about. It's the Scales of Balance, Ancient Tantra of the Soul. And it was talking about using that tantric energy to heal uh, your soul and come back into balance because sometimes we get out of balance it's uh, I'll read the top part of it you are a tantrika 
an intuitive initiate on the path of divine healing of the masculine and feminine, the two sacred polarities that are universal to human experience. As these energies come into mutual respect and balance, you attain great power, presence, and a healing effect in the world of the soul and in the human world of forms here on this earth. You are supported in further exploring this path now under the auspicious and blessings of beloved Isis. And you could be in the process of a sacred relationship healing of the divine masculine and divine feminine energies within your soul. This is the advanced spiritual path of Tantra. It is the connection of the body and soul. The effect of this inner divine relationship healing is genuine enlightenment of the mind and the body. The beloved becomes a living sacred temple of light, energy, and wild aliveness. This embodiment is experienced in movement, in deep stillness, in vitality, and in quietness. So that was about that. Um, and then we had a lot of shadow work ones coming up and healing ones coming up too. So we had the Temple of Black Obsidian, the Dark Healing Chamber, and then enter the Chamber of Healing, Healing Divine Chamber of the Lady Isis. I don't know. I didn't have this one, but it was out over here. So I'm, I'm probably going to add that to the thing. Actually, I could add it to this one because why not? It's, it's here for a reason, I'm assuming. Most stuff like that. It's usually like, pay attention to me. So, enter the chamber. There was, the Dark Mysteries was the one that I did earlier. Um, enter the chamber of the Dark Goddess was the one that we did on the call. Then, Isis Protection is here, but I don't think that one was in either. Maybe it was, I don't know. Oh, this is from that other deck. So, Isis is protection from the, the gods and goddesses and titans and sirens and all of that but inside of that one they had other things that were part of her process uh, let's see enter the chamber yeah look at that right there boom a spiritual gift of healing is coming to you now be open without expectation or pure or preconceived notion and allow the healing from the Lady Isis, Mistress of Magic, to help you find the best solution for any situation that does not appear to be as it should be. Take your time and create space into which her magical energy can flow now. Expect your miracle. This oracle comes to you as a messenger. Prepare for great changes because they are on their way now. The Divine Lady Isis offers you a healing gift of magic. It is something to accept as a gift of unconditional love with open arms. It will be offered without an agenda, with the only intent being for your highest good and spiritual growth. It will not necessarily look or feel like expected, but you will realize in the unfoldment of the process or circumstances that it was a spiritual healing gift from the Divine. Even though you may not have immediately recognized it as such at the time, you will be able to recognize this healing by the experience of it and its effect, even before the complete resolution of the issue at hand. The experience will be that the issue is somehow lifted from you, and the effect will be that the issue seems genuinely out of your control, and yet not out of control. This is the way that the gift of healing can come to you. Time and sacred space to contemplate and reflect is extremely helpful to receive divine intervention as consciously, swiftly, and fully as possible. Sacred space can be a physical place that allows you to put your day-to-day -day activities and thoughts to one side and instead indulge in just being as you are in that moment. It might be a place in nature, your meditation place or a healing room or a sanctuary that you have where you can be alone for a time, or even a meditation group or healing circle. Sacred space allows you to simply be, to not have to think, sort things out, or analyze, but to open, trust, rest, allow inspiration or guidance to come as and when it chooses, and to allow for the mysteries of healing to occur. 
It is important when entering sacred space that we do not set an agenda or have specific expectations. We do not have to think anything more than I dedicate this space to the divine within. When not attempting to find solutions but actually actively letting go mentally and emotionally and allowing ourselves to go within a peaceful state, relaxed but not numb, we can often have guidance, inspiration, clarity, and knowing drop into our awareness. We don't need to actively seek these things. They can just happen when we create open space. Healing happens most powerfully when there is space, openness, and allowing. We let go for healing to flow. Time in sacred space will help you receive the inner adjustments that you need for the healing magic of the Lady Isis to be able to reach you with full boldness and genius. The ritual of the Chamber of Healing. Ideally, do this exercise physically, but if you cannot, then visualize it instead. Do it in the intention to surrender into sacred space and receive the healing love of Isis. When we hold an intention to surrender into sacred space, we are opening up to another realm. Intentional surrender transforms an action into an element of ritual, and instead of simply acting, we imbue our activity with focused energy. It is the intention to surrender into sacred space that transforms a walk in a park to an inner journey into the chamber of healing. Take yourself to a place in nature that you love. The beach, beside a lake, in a forest, sand dunes, or cave. It might even be near your favorite plant, animal, perhaps a pet, or your favorite tree in a garden, or parkland. Go to any place that feels nourishing to you at this time and quietly in your heart imagine connecting with the light of your own divine essence. Sense it within your heart as an outstretched pair of gold and white wings glowing and growing with light and beauty and relax. Sit or walk and enjoy the space. Do nothing in particular. You may touch your surroundings, feeling the bark on the trees, or gathering shells and making patterns in the sand. Watch the waves, the lines left on the shore as they retreat, or listen to the leaves of the trees as the breeze moves through them. Feel the cool smoothness of rocks or stones. Enjoy be in your body and if you are feeling it hard to stop thinking or to switch off imagine that you don't have a head that you are just a body feel and connect with the space and let your mind settle into the physical sensations of being in that beautiful place and rest and then when you are ready to complete your ritual, you might like to repeat this incantation. You can say this to boost any healing process, whether it seems to have a started already or if it is still below the level of your conscious awareness. Healing comes, healing flows, healing blossoms and it shows. I thank Lady, Lady Isis for her love and light, her healing gift through spiritual night. Brings me now to the light of this day and healing blossoms without delay. Healing comes, healing flows, healing blossoms and it shows. I thank Lady Isis for her love and light, her healing gift through spiritual night brings me now to the light of this day 
healing blossoms without delay. And that is that. The other one we did was that, 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 that. And Osiris from there. And Isis in this deck was about the past life. And in this deck, it was about magic manifesting. Oh, and we did a little thing with the mirror. Um, like gazing into the mirror and reciting things for doing shadow work and things like that. So the full video uh, is a couple hours long and that's going to be available on Vimeo. When you go onto Vimeo to purchase, like if you just want to get like the Bridget and Kernanis or if you just want to get the one I did with Kali, you have to scroll down. Um, like up top, There's a, it's a, in a series on, on there. It's like available you can pay up front now and all of them will eventually be in this drop down list of the activations but if you scroll down you can purchase one at a time for like $14.44 for the renting of it um, or then you can own it for $24.44 and then there's um, like those individual ways or you can rent the entire thing so each time each one comes out, you have that for like two weeks or own the entire thing. And I set that up to be a lot less than like, like if you were to pay like 200 and something dollars all up front, you get all 13 activations in the end. But if you like come to each event individually, it would be, you know, it would end up to be more in the end. But it's also easier to pay as we go sometimes. So it's whatever people want to do, but those are available in that way. Um, I know that sometimes it gets confusing when you go there and you see those two big prices, so scroll down. And I also have them uploaded individually too on my on-demand page. So if you go to like the on-demand section of all the on-demands, you'll find them like in there amongst the others. And I did the inner child activation last night for people, so I just posted that onto YouTube. Divine Essentials channel today, the preview. It's $5.55 to own on uh, Vimeo. So it's not a lot. And it's about 45 minutes. So if you're interested in that, that's out there too. Okay. It is 27 minutes on the clock. How is it not going to be that, right? <laughs> Namaste.